Now, let's examine the lower limb. The lower limb is controlled by nerves from the lumbosacral plexus. This illustration shows the lumbosacral plexus from the anatomic perspective. As we did with the upper limb, from here on, we'll discuss the lumbosacral plexus using this schematic diagram. We'll also use the same 1, 2, 3 method so that its functions are easy to remember. It works like this. One lumbosacral plexus is composed of two parts, the lower lumbar plexus and the upper sacral plexus. Each of these parts has three nerves. The lower lumbar plexus is formed from the roots and spinal levels L2, L3, and L4. The three nerves of the lower lumbar plexus are the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve, the obturator nerve, and the femoral nerve. The upper sacral plexus is formed from the roots at spinal levels L4, L5, S1, S2, and S3. The three nerves of the upper sacral plexus are the superior gluteal nerve, the inferior gluteal nerve, and the sciatic nerve. Now, let's go through the movements and sensations we would test for each part of the lumbosacral plexus in order. Starting with the lower lumbar plexus, the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve provides sensation to the lateral thigh, in the area where a holster might rest. The obturator nerve enables you to adduct your lower limb. It also provides sensation to the inner thigh. The femoral nerve flexes the lower limb at the hip by raising the thigh. It also extends the lower limb at the knee by straightening the leg. The femoral nerve also provides sensation to the anterior medial part of the thigh and the medial area below the knee, covering a distribution like the inseam of trousers. Now on to the upper sacral plexus. The superior gluteal nerve controls the muscles that abduct the lower limb. The inferior gluteal nerve lets you extend your lower limb at the hip by moving it backwards. The sciatic nerve controls the muscles that allow you to flex your lower limb at the knee. Behind the knee, the sciatic nerve divides into the perineal nerve anteriorly and the tibial nerve posteriorly. The perineal nerve allows you to dorsiflex your foot and toes. It also provides sensation to the lateral calf and the dorsal foot. The tibial nerve allows you to plantar flex your foot and curl your toes. It also provides sensation to the plantar surface of the foot. Can you tell which nerve's action is demonstrated in this Olympic figure skating performance?